Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions and we're back with another Mighty Nine related video dealing with Amazon Prime's new show being released, the animated show Mighty Nine. A video came out yesterday pretty quick after the announcement happened. I didn't get the link. My brother sent it to me. I totally missed it. I don't know. I Sometimes I get like five or six different people in a row texting me and I'll be doing a video and I'll be like, I'll look at it later. And then I don't realize how many were in that. Like I could wave off one thing that has like five different people having a conversation with me. It happens from time to time, but usually those people I talk to pretty frequently and I realize it. Today, I text my brother and I'm like, what is this link? Mighty Nine animated series, Critical Role's huge new Amazon deal. So there is gonna be some sort of explanation with the details behind it. I'm sure some of you, if not a lot of you, already wrote in the comments of the announcement video the structure of the deal. I did read a few things, like there's some sort of couple year long deal. I don't know the specifics and the details. I honestly didn't go through all the comments yet because I've been just doing Vox Machina related videos, this related videos, and Vox Machina episodes four, five, and six come out in about an hour. So I'm going to edit this up after I finish it, barely get it out in time to get into Vox Machina, then edit up episode four and repeat. So let's just check this out. It's by a channel I've never heard. 10,000 subscribers, the character sheet on comicbook.com. That is the name of the channel. They've got a decent amount of subscribers, but let's just check it out. My brother said it was a really cool video. I always have people preview these for me just in case the spoilers or in case it's something not worth reacting to. So I already know this is a pretty cool video just based on that. Two minutes, 30 seconds. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. If you don't see the link in the description below of every video is Patreon link. There's a Patreon hour exclusive of every episode of The Mighty Nine. We are up to episode 49 tomorrow night, Friday night. 7.45 is a live stream. 8 o'clock, we usually start the content. There is a long one tomorrow, roughly three hours plus. We're going to be talking about Vox Machina. We're going to be talking about what happens there. And then Monday, we'll start episode 50 of Campaign 2. That is why I'm so excited for the Mighty Nine. We've been running with that Campaign 2 for about a year now. It started when Vox Machina ended, which was four weeks running of Vox Machina. We've done an episode every week. Hundreds of other shows, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, all of Legend of Vox Machina Season 1, in full, unedited. Go check the link. If not, Mighty Nine animated series, Critical Role's huge new Amazon deal. A Mighty Nine animated series is underway. I love underway. that they're already Celebrate. in animation. <laughs> Celebrate! Oh my god, they almost Huge redlined. news for Critters Everywhere, as Amazon Studios has announced a multi-year television and film deal with Critters. Multi-year television new deal, and Amazon film. Amazon Studios will air a Mighty Nine animated series, with production set to begin soon. We even have an official description of this new series, which will be based on the second... They're obviously playing the intro campaign. to The Mighty, Mighty Nine. Mighty Nine follows a group of criminals and misfits who are the They're only getting the recap can prevent the of what Mighty Nine is all about. Into chaos ...when an arcane artifact capable of reshaping reality falls into the wrong hands. That is basically description of the first half of Campaign 2. I like it. The series will presumably be animated by Titmouse, who also animated The Legend of Vox Machina and are listed as executive producers and of the new series. And they do amazing work. The announcement states that Critical Role will produce new shows under its brand new production banner, Meta banner. Pigeon, and will include shows, film, and content both in and outside of the Critical Role universe. In Since and outside. A first look film deal, it looks like hey, I got Role that. is going to be the expanding in huge ways. Now, this is, of course, <clears throat> big news for Critical Role. Fans have been begging for a Mighty Nine series basically since the launch of The Legend of Vox Machina. And yes. our own interview with Travis saw him play suspiciously coy when we asked him point ah, blank about a there Mighty we go. Nine series. <laughs> no, see, I didn't see this. What's this? Of Legend of Vox Machina. Do you think we're going to get to a point where we're going to see uh, animated Vox Machina, animated Mighty Nine uh, hit the screens in the same year? Not at all Man. a leading question. Gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be fun. Ooh. The biggest question we have now is how will this impact the Critical Role live stream campaigns as the cast members become more and more busy running their newfound like media? Sam empire? running back and forth. Will this finally cause Travis to clone himself? Will Matt finally get to open Critical Role Land? How long Can do we have I that? have to wait Critical... for animated Frumpkin and Kiri? 
But let us know how excited you are about the Mighty Nine getting its own series Kiri. in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the character sheet. All right, guys. So we did get some decent information. Two and a half minutes. The beginning was basically explaining what the Mighty Nine is to people. Telling up until about halfway through the campaign, he said, they're a group of people searching for an artifact that could change the course of the world or their history. I don't know what he said, but he said something that sounded like what I've been watching for the last 50 episodes. They're speaking of a specific artifact based on the fact that up until episode 49, which we're about to finish, we've been dealing with Ford Saga. That's the whole reason I wore this shirt. I also noticed in this thumbnail that popped up, this was the thumbnail used for that video. Ford is in the forefront and we see ships and we see his armor, and it looks to me like Ford is kind of almost the focus. They also were speaking specifically to Travis and asking, like, should we clone Travis? When we asked Travis this question, he was very not so clear or almost, like, mysterious with the answer, which obviously we could see he was. Then Ashley Johnson even said, yeah, wouldn't that be great? They all already probably knew everything. I don't know when that interview was, but that interview showed at the bottom, Vox Machina Season 2 starting January 20th. My guess is they known for a while, or at least a couple months prior to this. Maybe they said, if Season 2 is a success, instant signing of the contracts for Mighty Nine. Maybe they didn't want to jump the gun till they got Season 2 out. What if they're like, you know what? We're giving you a film and TV contract for multiple years, and then Vox Machina Season 2 comes out and everyone, like, forgot about it and no one watched it. Obviously, that is not the case. I feel like they're getting very good numbers. Somebody in the comments told me 100% fresh rating critics and audience. At least when I saw that comment, it was. It probably still is. Regardless of that, even though I don't take too high into account what Rotten Tomatoes says, that's pretty damn good. And I've seen it. And I know you guys seen it. And we all think it's great. So fantastic. Same people doing the animated Mighty Nine show. There's also a film deal in there films plural possible content not related to mighty nine and vox machina so possibly calamity or one shots they could probably do like little side things i think they said not even solely tied strictly to critical role i'm pretty sure it said outside the critical role universe as well so it could be pretty much anything they want they could just expand into something totally different i mean the film deals and everything they could tie it all in together this could be huge it could be its own marvel universe of critical role and beyond very cool stuff also, at the end, they were making a comment on if all of this is happening, where does the live action campaigns fall in? Because that is how all this became a thing. But if they're doing the Mighty Nine and Vox Machina and film deals and potentially outside the universe, where does the campaign fall in? Because they're locked into about four or five hours a week, almost every week. They take breaks here and there. But that's a lot of commitment. I mean, they do have lives. I understand. I am re-watching just Campaign 2 and doing Vox Machina. And all I'm doing is just reacting to what they did. And I barely could handle it with all the other shows and stuff like that. They're going to have to decide what is more important or where to allocate their resources. Even though I feel like maybe they could swing it. Thursday is their big night with the campaign live action. That's when they do Campaign 3 right now. I feel like as long as they just keep Thursday, Thursday, it's just a lot of work. But I mean, they're passionate about it. They love what they do. Maybe they'll swing it or maybe we'll clone Ford, a.k.a. Travis Willingham, a bunch of times. They also talked about Critical Role land or world that Matt Mercer wants to build. I would live there. I recently saw on Evermore, there's a fantasy theme park, which I just watched a giant documentary on it's like a three hour thing go look it up on youtube it's apparently been around for many years where it is a fantasy theme park but it didn't do too well and it wasn't launched properly and it also was launched in pretty much the middle of the pandemic or like a year before everything didn't work out it's still open from what i hear but i hear not great things about it i don't want to knock it because i've never been there but from what i've seen it's decent looking and i hope this becomes a thing i want critical role land you guys let me know what you think we have Vox Machina Season 2, Episodes 4, 5, and 6 in less than an hour. I'm going to edit this up, get it out to you guys before that starts, in case you didn't know. I watch Episode 4, then I edit it up for YouTube, but then 4, 5, and 6 go up immediately on Patreon in full unedited. Odds are Episodes 5 and 6 won't be edited up until later tonight or tomorrow, but Patreon gets it all first. All of Season 1 and the rest of Season 2 is up there. The Patreon Hour exclusive 
dozens of other shows, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, Black Butler, Death Note just started. Like I said, full, unedited, check it out. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.